Hey guys, this is From Cheng with an on the subject of defining skill in 5th gen Armored Core. Now if you've been here for any part of Armored Core 5 and Verdict Day, you kind of know that whenever people talk about skill, it tends to be a very hotly debated subject with a lot of people bringing in a lot of points and ideas of what they think it is. I remember back during the days of the start of AC5 and we had 1.01, and it was particularly big when HRDAs with zinnias and pulse cannon tanks, which could basically one-shot you, were kind of roaming about. Now, the main problem with these discussions is, although there was lots and lots and lots of it, uh, for the most part, they weren't very productive. So most of the deba debates were, were kind of just finger-pointing and get-good arguments, rather than actual clear points on skilled and not skilled play and what builds were good not and so on and so forth and i thought you know looking back that this was a subject i wanted to talk about because it's something that's always been an interesting topic but it's never been fully or clearly discussed um you know as to what is skill in fifth gen armored core this on the subject of is kind of an intro video for that because there's definitely a lot more to the topic than what I have so far, and I am definitely interested in getting other people's opinions on kind of what they think about it. So just to, to be real quick, though, let's go ahead and talk about uh, kind of how I define it. So the way I look at it, uh, the way I look at it, there are three aspects to skill in fifth gen armored core. The first one is me mechanical skill. And that's basically talking about the movement control of your AC. So how well can you utilize the different boost types, how well you wall jump, glide boost, and use them in such a way that you are able to effectively control your AC, whether it be being able to dodge behind cover to avoid fire, how to approach your opponent, how to retreat, and so on and so forth. And this also goes into energy management as well. And uh, a lot of it is based on a lot of practice, practice, practice. Uh, and, that, and, that, and that's kind of what makes this aspect a little bit more difficult to obtain because it requires practice within a live environment. So it's, it's very difficult to kind of gain this skill just by doing it by yourself and with no one else around you. And, and because of that, it's kind of the most clear indicator for most veterans when they're trying to find, you know, who's, who's skilled or not skilled. Because it's easiest to recognize once you know it, but it also is the hardest to learn. And most of the veterans will have this aspect just because they've played the game for so long. So they do have kind of that experience from it. And when you kind of understand what you're looking for, the difference is pretty much night and day between low to mid and high level play. So after that, we have technical skill, which is more on the side of execution and your planning abilities. So this is basically knowing what to do in different scenarios, knowing which weapons to use, um, how to avoid taking damage, how to tackle your opponent in such a way that you are able to come out victorious. So just to give you an example, if you are a tank fighting a melee build, how to maneuver around them, how to avoid taking damage, how to conserve your energy, and what ways you win the match. Or versus a sniper build, how to close distance, and how to force the enemy unit into certain positions which are advantageous to you. So essentially, it is the knowing how to do. It's the to create and to execute the plan to its fullest and to be able to win, basically. Next after that, we have design skill, and this is your ability to create builds. So knowing how to make an AC for any number of scenarios, regardless of what your opponent is bringing, the map you're on, and the situations that you're in. And this one I think is a little bit underrated because there tends to be two camps. There tends to be super meta or super personal, and there's not a lot of ground in between. But when it comes to design skill, it's kind of kind of a bit of both. So knowing when so it's kind of knowing to build for what scenarios. So in some situations, meta is objectively better just because it performs better. 
but you know if your opponent is expecting it and is able to build against that then you know it it kind of limits its effectiveness and ability overall and that knowledge plays a big part in design skill so knowing how to create your builds for those scenarios so no matter what the situation is in terms of what you need to build i know that's that's a little bit confusing but basically being able to build well for any scenario now when it comes to these three skills you mainly get that from experience which comes from attainment of knowledge and understanding how to apply the information and you really need both uh, because armored core is one of those complex games where it's not just important to be able to do but also to know and vice versa and having a real low amount in one or the other kind of limits your ability abilities as a player so for instance let's say you're really good at knowing how to glide boost and use movement and wall jump but you don't know about scan mode, or let's say you don't know how to use recons, then that greatly limits your ability on, you know, how how skilled you can be and how well you can use your AC and so on and so forth. And vice versa, even if you if you know about armor break, uh, but you don't know how to use it, you don't know which weapons are good for it, or you can't build an AC that's able to take advantage of it, then it's pretty much meaningless. Now, when it comes to obtaining experience, it usually comes from a combination of PvP, which is playing against other players, and also research and practice and trial and error. Uh, experience has different aspects, and they're usually made up of a combination of knowledge and understanding. For example, we, do, we have gameplay-based, which is an understanding of mechanics and also how to use them. And you have map based, which is spawn points, boundaries, avoiding being co cornered and knowing how to use cover. Then you have build based and which is uh, how parts and weapons work and also their like their strengths and weaknesses. And then you have matchup based, which is knowing how to play, play the builds that you fight against and kind of the differences and the, the advantages and disadvantages, uh, you know, when you're pitting certain builds against certain builds. And that's kind of just a quick summary of that. I know I've, I'm going into uh, almost eight minutes here now, but I wanted that just to be a quick intro as to my thoughts as to defining skill. Uh, later, at a later point, I'll try to talk more about how to know what skill is and kind of show you and understand what it is. But that's about it for this on the subject of. Down in the comments, if you could let me know what you think skill is in Armored Core 5 and Verdict Day. When do you know that you see skill? When do you know when a player is skilled and when they're not skilled? Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's about it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and content. And I hope to see you guys soon. Till next time, pilots.